built this because I think our community, our students and even our staff realise that kids thrive and, and develop beautifully when they have opportunity, opportunities to engage in real play. My name's Carlo Singh, I'm a Professor of Sociology of Education at Griffith University and my colleague, I'm Roberta Thompson and I'm a Research Fellow at Griffith and Carlo Projects. And we're here because we're part of a Australian Research Council funded project. Is it typical of what we've seen in other schools? No, it is quite an exceptional um, uh, playground, basically because it's been conceived, designed, built and now maintained by the students at Eagle Bee or other children at Eagle Bee. The children presented the playground to the audience that were here, the confidence that they had the points that they drew around the playground and what it meant for the children. So I thought that to me was really impressive. Mm. I feel that it gave the children the opportunity to learn how to present their voice mm. and really um, commit to the kind of work that they do. We managed to get a little tour of the uh, playground. We managed to also actually have a play on some of the uh, uh, equipment and it was it was great. It was like thinking about our own childhood and the kinds of things that we could do. Um, and the experimental nature and seeing the children experimenting with things and trying out different um, designs themselves. So yeah, it was lovely. And, and, and on top of that, we just love the fact that all the parents are here with the children and the support workers. And so you've got grandparents, parents, young children, children who don't even come to Eagle Beach a part of the community, getting to be in this space and learning a, a bit about what school might be like. So it's a good introduction to the school for, for very young children as well, so very impressive. We are really hoping to find a way to open this playground to the community outside of school hours, so on weekends and holidays. We're already achieving that a little bit but we need to get this to happen. We need the, I guess we need to find a way to fund that. We've had the good fortune of um, seeing the loose parts play um, evolve over time. And our Andrew, the school principal, has certainly told us that um, under COVID, where children, some children still attended the school, uh, they had less curriculum time in some ways because other students weren't here, but they did get to play in that playground area. And in fact, their academic results improved and behaviour problems decreased. So I think that's a fantastic benefit of these kinds of play spaces as well. Some things that children had in the past, freedom of play, creativity are missing in our current environment and society and this sort of work is an attempt to rebuild opportunities for play for children and I think there's a collective awareness of that importance. I think the fact that they're designed for children, a lot of the commercial uh, playgrounds that we see now have been designed by big companies with an image of what they think children want. But in contrast, this is children problem solving, thinking for themselves about what they would like, getting to design it, talk to each other about the design, planning it out, um, then actually building it and then working out how they're going to maintain it. Now all of those skills about problem solving, project management are just such crucial skills for all people, not just for children. So actually learning it by doing it is is, is a crucial part of education, I would say. So the benefits the school has already seen has a reduction in suspension rates, reduction in detentions, a halving of behaviour-related incidences. And what that means is that the teachers at this school and the students are all a lot more happier and a lot more positive. They all view themselves in a lot more positive lights. They're not going back in the classroom feeling negative. We hope that other educators um, and anybody of influence see the importance of something like this and we hope more, more will start to spring up around Logan, South East Queensland and further. It feels nice that we actually get to put some of our ideas into what we like want to create and make it come real. I just, I, just want, I just want to thank the student leaders who've designed and built this. They've engaged in a lot, not just a lot of creativity and, I guess, critical thinking, but 
lots of hard work, lots of hard work. They've given up their play times for almost six months and they've worked so hard to get this to happen and they've become very impressive young leaders and I'm very, very proud of them. The children have just learnt so much and I just hope that the student councillors realise how important what they have done is for the future. I just, I, just want, I just want to thank the student leaders that have designed and built this. They've engaged in a lot, not just a lot of creativity and, I guess, critical thinking, but lots of hard work, lots of hard work. They've given up their play times for almost six months and they've worked so hard to get this to happen and they've become very impressive young leaders and I'm very, very proud of them.